Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on my wife's bike. This is the electric 2.0. Hers just so happens to be the step-through version, but it should work for either one. I wanted to go through the screen configuration similar to what I did in my other video for the Palerna and just show some of those hidden menus uh, and the options that are configurable you may want to change on your particular bike. So the first thing that we need to do obviously is turn the key on on the bike. Once that's done, then you can use the power button on the left handlebar. Just press it and hold it for a couple of seconds and that will turn on the screen. So the first thing you want to do is press and hold the plus and minus just for a second or two and you can see the screen, the screen switch over to the configurable items. Now the first screen that's going to be configurable is actually the dimmer screen so you can modify that by just pressing the plus or minus key. That's, there's three different settings uh, so you can set it to however you prefer. Now in order to get to the next screen, you're just going to press on the power button one time, don't hold it, and that will take you to the next screen. So this next screen is going to be for the units of distance, so either miles or kilometers. Let me go back into that. One is going to be for miles and zero is going to be for kilometers. So I'm going to keep mine in miles and then we can go ahead and press the power button again to go to the third screen. So number three is the voltage that your bike is made to run on. So these bikes are made to run on 48 volts. Previously this was configurable, which it shouldn't have been because your bike is set up to run on 48 volts. That's determined by the battery that you have in it. So if you try to change it, at least on electric 2.0s, it's not going to let you. So 04 is set to 10 and what that's telling you is you have 10 minutes before the screen will be set to sleep. So number five is based on the gears that the bike is, is my understanding, and this is another one that's not configurable. I'm guessing Electric does this so that they won't get customer service calls trying to figure out what setting it was that you changed. Instead, they just lock this one out so you can't touch it at all. Number six is based on the wheel size, so currently it's set 22, and this is configurable. Some people have had better luck reconfiguring this to 23 or 24 inches, and that should give you a more accurate speed since tire and wheel size is what's going to affect the speed that's showing on your screen. So number seven is based on the magnets inside the bike that control how fast it is you're going. And this is another one that's not configurable. Electric has locked us out of that one probably for good reason. So number eight is an interesting one. Number eight is where you can change your speed of the bike, so your top speed. What you want to do is you want to set this to 100 and that would unleash the full capabilities of this bike. If you keep it set at 32, and keep in mind this is 32 kilometers per hour, so that's going to limit the bike to around 20 miles an hour. If you set it to 100, then that's going to let, allow you to enable the motor, the pedal assist, past 20 miles an hour. So most people change this configuration pretty much right away. So number nine is a zero start configuration. If you have this set to one, then that is set to not apply throttle while you're at a standstill. If you set this to zero and you turn the throttle, then the bike is going to move. So it's basically a configuration to prevent accidentally hitting the throttle while you're at a standstill. So kind of a safety feature. I have this set at one. If you set it to zero, then you can hit the throttle from a standstill and it will accelerate the bike. Number 10 is your pedal assist enable and disable. So if you want only pedal assist and no throttle, meaning you can't use the hand control, but when you pedal, you'll get that pedal assistance, then you'll have this set to zero. One means that you're using throttle only and no pedal assist. Two is probably the setting that most people will have where you can use the throttle by hand or pedal assist will also be enabled. Number 11 is the pedal assist sensitivity. You can set this anywhere between one and 24. One is gonna be the most sensitive, so as soon as you start pedaling, it's gonna to start to assist. And number 24 would be the opposite. It would be the least sensitive. It would take the longest to engage. V12 is also another useful one. This is going to be the strength that the pedal assist kicks in. So one is actually going to be, it's going to ease on the, the electric pedal assist the least amount. If you have this set to number five, you're going to get the most torque, most uh, starting power from the start. So I'm going to set this to one since this is my wife's bike and she doesn't want to have a ton of power. She's just using this to assist in her pedaling. So number 13 is for the cadence sensor and this is another one that's non-configurable so if you try to change this item it's not going to let you but basically there's 12 magnets in there and that's where that number is coming from. The number 14 is related to a current limit and this is another one that's non-configurable. So 15 is another one that's non-configurable. Once your battery capacity is reduced below 40 volts it'll no longer allow you to keep 
draining that battery. And that's to prevent the battery from being damaged. So 16 is for the odometer. It's not going to let you by just pressing the up and down, but if you press the up button for longer than 5 or 6 seconds, it should clear that odometer. So 17 is related to your cruise. You should be able to enable and disable here. I'm not exactly sure why it's not letting me enable or disable. Every time I try to press the plus and minus, it's not uh, giving me an option, but I feel like that should be a feature that should be configurable. Number 18 is a speed in indicator, and I'm not exactly sure what this one is supposed to do, but again, this one is non-configurable. Number 19 is for a zero gear. This bike is set up to have a zero gear. This one, again, is non-configurable, but what this one is doing is for pedal assist that's currently set to one, you can actually set that to zero, and that way you can pedal without having to worry about the pedal assist enabling. But this one's currently set to zero, which is non-configurable, so I'm guessing they changed the way that they have this, and every bike now has a zero gear enabled. Number 20 is for a communication setting that I'm not very familiar with, but this is another one that is non-configurable. Number 21 is going to be the last configuration, and this is to enable and disable your walk mode. So if you set it to zero, that's going to disable the walk mode. If you set it to number one, then that's going to enable it. What that does is it allows the bike to to roll next to you at a slow pace. So if you actually want to walk the bike without pushing it or feeling the tension of the electric motor, it would allow the bike to travel next to you at a slow walking pace. Yeah.